What's up, YouTube? Let's go into a little video on fake rubies. And fake rubies are out there everywhere. And there's a lot of different things to look for. But let's get past the major gates that you get past that you need to uh, understand for rubies. Okay, this one over here is a garnet. It's very black. It is so dark. I mean, it's red, but to find the red in it. A garnet is always going to be a little bit more purplish more of the time, but not necessarily. There are pigeon blood garnets that are very beautiful. And, uh, but that one's just so typical. Usually you can't see into a very large carrot garnet. Um, that's why garnets aren't usually over two or three carrots because they just go black. Um, the largest one in there is a lab created ruby. And some of the smaller ones around them are maybe not rubies, but um, some of those half carat ones are real rubies, like that one. And I'm sorry I have pathetic rubies here, okay? But what you're gonna look for in a lab created ruby versus a ruby is for it to be internally flawless. Like this stone there is internally flawless. Most of these other rubies are kind of ugly. Notice how they're purple and cloudy and they have a lot of inclusions. Well, naturally, any ruby has inclusions. You want a little bit of clarity like that. Not so much like that. And um, take stones like these under a black light before you start buying. And things will get a little bit more obvious at this point. Obviously, the lab created stone is going to get a little bit more electric on you. And all rubies do fluoresce, so it's going to be easy to knock the garnet out of that situation. But there are natural rubies in there, and look how they fluoresce differently than this lab-created stone. Somebody thought these were rubies and threw them in the bag. So this bag was like 30 bucks, and... It has a 0.47 carat ruby in there of decency. So, I mean, you could buy fake rubies. You could buy real rubies. This one is worth about $12, $10, $7, something like that. Nothing real big as a lab created stone. This one more in the at least 300 range, you know what I mean? Even though it's ugly. Not ugly, but I mean, it is not flawless like that gorgeous red one there that's fake. Well, not fake. There's, this one will actually test positive for corundum. It's a real corundum. It's the same chemical composition. So it's not per se fake. And plus, they're getting the ruby makers to drip drops of ruby onto each other to make uh, Chatham rubies or whatever you call those they have inclusions now so work on your skills